name. The name Sikle is a brush name. Actually, my full name is Clement Lai. But I chose Sikle because that is the brush name I wanted to spread, you know, abroad. So that is how I came about that name. In the period of 1995 to 1998, I completed my junior high school and then senior high school in 1999 to 2002. That is where I learned the theory aspect of art. You know, theory, people will not call you to come and do theory work. Definitely it is practical. So I have to enter into apprenticeship where I will learn the practical aspect of art. That is what you see around. So I went into apprenticeship for five years from 2000 and two to 2007 so my work starts spreading from 2007 to date so i've been painting since i'm um, approximately 13 to 14 years now god himself is an artist that is why he made us the way we are and everything that you see around you is an artwork so it is my passion when i was clothed in my mother's womb, I desire to just paint. So I'm, 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 I'm grateful I've become an artist. Through apprenticeship, I studied perspex, how to do banner writing, how to do photo background. I designed sculptures. I did all those ones, t-shirts and what have you. But what I'm doing now is Impressionism. It is different from what I studied from school and what I studied from my master. Because I have the passion for art, I paved my way through because I know I have a story to tell to the world. So I have to do something that will communicate to the world. And what I studied cannot do that. So I came up with these stars by the grace of God. And trust me, it is making way. Because this one, for instance, tells you that look up whatever happens don't look down our help comes from above no man so my painting are let me call it, they are not painting they are pills they are motivational pieces that if you understand it can heal you if you understand it can program your mind to attain higher ground if you understand it will tell you no if others are doing it you can also do it that is the reason why i am doing that and that is the kind of work that i do i define success as impacting what you have into others so that if you are no more that name will still blend and then carry on so i i try to open up to the general public who have the talent and want to polish that is why i come in and then you know be of help there are people that i teach to pick up the artwork and spread it to the world i paint to touch lives whatever you do to touch lives it becomes a therapy to people like i told you from the beginning if we go around and i explain the words you understand the reason why i said i'm an art therapist if you understand painting it must heal you people are buying artwork that they don't have idea of because this one will fit my room this one will do that no buy it because it speaks to your soul I have one artwork in my room, no matter how much you, you price it, I will never give it out. Because if I see it, it gives me the edge to press on to victory is one. And that alone is worth than millions. There is a piece directly from Secret Art Gallery. I call it Peel because if you understand it is. Now let me dive into the reason why I made this. You can see a woman with a tongue twisted it tells you that you must mind your tongue james says that we should be swift in hearing but when it comes in terms of using the tongue we have to be careful as i speak to you now a lot are in prison because of um misusing of tongue a lot have died because of misuse of tongue so whatever you want to use your tongue to declare make sure you think twice because what will not make you Will destroy you so there is a peace that if it is in your all it must speak to you daily of how to go about issues as long as 
human tongue is concerned. There is a portrait of myself. I believe strongly that people have problems. And we as an artist, we don't change money. What we look at is problem and how to solve it with our talent. So someone may need a portrait is a problem of that person. If you are able to provide whatever he or she needs with your talent, you will get the money. So I per se don't rush for money. I look at people's problems and I solve it with my talent. So there is a piece of a portrait that if anyone at all needs, I can try myself and then solve that problem. Like I explained the earlier work that I showed you about the tongue. Maybe you want to teach your people how to use their tongue in order not to fall into trouble. So that alone will solve a problem. It is a desire of every artist to move from where he is to the next level. As I speak to you now, I'm all over the world. Though I haven't traveled, my works are everywhere. As we speak now, I'm exhibiting at Asia, Taipian exhibition. I have works over there that if I have my phone, I can show you. It is ongoing right now. I've taken work to UK, and Parallels Art Exhibition. I was part last year. I did not go, but my works went. I have works all over this world. If you can type Cicle Art, you will see that it will take you to where people are hanging my works across the globe. So, frankly speaking, I have not gone far as person but my works has, has gone beyond the shows about this yeah. i really don't have a desire because i understand one principle be anxious for nothing but in all with supplication and thanksgiving let your request be known unto god i know a good talent travels and at appropriate time, things will work out perfectly beyond my even expectation. I would like to travel across the globe to teach and to exhibit. But for now, um, I don't bother myself with it. I'm a person that I don't easily give up. No matter what, I don't easily give up because life will not give you what you deserve. It gives you what you work for. It got to a time that I want to divert this painting into making of books. But I tried my hands on typing. I realized those typing, they are trying. Within a week, I stopped. Why am I doing all this? Because digital printing took over our art. You can take a portrait to a shop and it wouldn't possible time they will just print it out beautifully priceless it is it's, it's not costly let me put it that way so people you know try to grab those things and then it brings down the shade of the image of painting down so i i nearly give up it was my wife who said claire you can do it let's keep pushing don't forget that because everybody cannot do it, that is why if you are able to break through, you become an icon. And that word alone keeps me pushing, pushing. And here I am today, I am making it big. I look at those that I look after. Aside my biological children, there are people that I care for. If I should throw in the towel, how will those people feel? People look at me, and therefore, that alone make me not stop. And I think I have to bring God here. Is the reason why I'm still in the painting business. We live in a crazy world that everybody want quality, but I don't want to spend much and i may be a victim to you because if i know this will not cost me much and it's exactly what i wanted why won't i go in 
rather than chasing what I can't afford. So it affects my work a lot. But digital doesn't last like original pieces like this. And because I focused, that is why I can testify that um, I have reached where trials and giving up in the art field comes. I have grown past that stage by the grace of God. I think 20% in Ghana here are people who really cherish what we do here. That is why as an art therapist, it is my duty to let them know what we have and what it can do. I have whites who purchase my work. I have blacks who purchase my work. As a matter of fact, poor and rich get my work. Because if your work, um, the price is very high and people can't afford it, it can work with your message that you want to carry across. So everybody must get my work. It doesn't matter if you have money or you don't have money. What matters to me that I affect lives with my work. So that if I'm no more, at least one artwork will make you trace my children and even my great grandchildren. I will go for painting as long as corporate institutions are concerned. You know, it's a theme work. And therefore, when you give something like, let's lift it up, a piece that talks about, let's lift it up, that alone in the reception can, can push the institution to the next level. Let's have a piece like we are all involved. In other words, you take the job like yours. That is why you don't relax if things are going wrong. That alone in that institution will, will make some tremendous um, difference in the office. So that is all I wanted to say. Art work is art work. And until you understand the reason why art work are art work, We'll still look it with odd eyes at the other way. I want to tell the general public, as a matter of fact, the whole world, that being an artist is a blessing because we touch lives in so many ways. I don't have the opportunity to climb the pulpit. So I do my messages in my studio. So that is my pulpit. So whatever I do here is a message to the entire world that we can do it that giving up is not the best option and until you change your mindset the result is still the same let's keep pushing victory will soon be won Um, you can reach me on social media with the name Cicle, C I F K L E, the then at. So Cicle at. Cicle. When you type Cicle at, Instagram page will come, Facebook page will come, Twitter page will come. I'm on YouTube too as well with that same name, Cicle at. C I F K L E A R T.